Hello guys, this is Momo and today I would like to teach you how to prepare your uh, surface for Mark Pave Marker setting uh, preset and uh, with amazing incredible tools in Matrix Code we can do it uh, easily without any problem and in a very fast way okay so first of all uh, I need to prepare my surface and then pave I want to use uh, some metrics code uh, pave uh, diamond pave command and um, uh, array my gems on surface and then I go to prepare my cutter my own cutter my customized cutter and then I save it and I will apply on on, uh, on each gem okay so let's get started so first of all I want to make the surface so it's really better to uh, I would like to make oval, okay, or uh, I can use ellipse command, so I can make something like that, and then I would like to extrude it, I don't need this line anymore, and then I use patch command in uh, surface, we have patch command, and then I select the edge, and by activating, by checking uh, the adjust tangency, uh, and in preview mode I have um, uh, a dome shape why if you don't turn on adjust tangency it would be flat why it will be flat why because it doesn't want to obey the tangency of the original surface because I use the edge so absolutely when he when it wants to make the surface he tried to make it tangent to this surface okay tangent to this surface so that's why it goes in the dome shape one of the easiest way to make a dome shape of circle or oval ellipse or some uh, regular shapes we can use this command and in this surface uh, comparing to ray revolve or uh, other things it has uh, uh, it has nice arrangement of ISO curves in two direction U and V okay so and then I press OK so I already have my surface I put it here and now you know that we have amazing tools pave okay I can find the find it in jam with pave that's uh, it it has a huge improvements comparing to matrix 9 uh, so when I click on that and then I select my surface and then okay so I have a very nice arrangement of uh, gems so I want to use a big stones 1.7 okay nice I want to make it distance between gem I want to add it so it could it, this is must be okay for that so it needs to be uh, uh, jam it needs to be prong so when I cut it it uh, needs to be prong so a little bit more okay that would be fine so do I need any space from uh, the edge do I need distance from the border maybe I can have it yeah that's must be that's much better okay and you know 100 percent you know that you can change the size you can move it's amazing i really like it i really like pave command in uh matrix gold comparing to matrix 9 and then you can press enter and then you have your own gems okay very good so now uh the gems are uh 1.7 so i put one gem 1.7 just for uh, uh, as a guide you know as a guide uh, or for making the cutters but, but we don't need it also okay so uh, I go to curve I go to smart curve and this is incredibly common also so you can use symmetry uh, vertical and you can make anything that you want and also if you don't want to make it from the center you can base point no blanks you can click here and then you can go to the vertical and it, and it makes from here not from the center so if you need make your symmetric curve anywhere just click here and then symmetry vertical and then it start from here huh? it's a nice uh, option 
okay it's really good so you just go to smart curve and then closed vertical and I want to say here too to have the sharp point and then I make something like that okay that's fine and then I maybe somewhere like this must be fine okay and then I extrude it I can say something like that I want to scale it as a table and then I array I can make it a little bit smaller that makes sense because the gem doesn't have too much space between them and if I go here if I compare to that okay so it must be something like this so you can see in the other one yeah I can make it a little bit smaller too so let's go to make it smaller okay and then I want to do array polar okay I better to use uh, here transform array polar from center and then six cutters good I want to make it smaller it's better to have something like that here so let's see oops Yeah, that would be fine. And then I want to select all a little bit like that, a little bit like this, not too deep. From here, let's see okay and then i can do boolean difference okay and then i can do boolean difference i go to solid oh sorry boolean union why i said that boolean difference no boolean union i want to make them as one cut one object okay so that's it let's see here okay boolean union i don't need this one okay very good so now what I need to do, I need for saving it as a cutter, we better to make it in one centimeter. It's much more better. Okay, you scale it to have in one centimeter. You can make it bigger, but I recommend to have one centimeter. Okay, so you select, you go here, you export to drive uh, see oh sorry document your document your um, metrics code okay metrics code uh, library and cutters microprong cutters and I want to say preset cutter number two okay very good it's already saved so now let's go here so I have, I need to ungroup them. I need to select line by line, it's much more better. I can choose old gem, but there is something that is very important and this is the direction of gems, okay? So if you if you are Matrix 9 user, you can remember in Matrix 9, we had a gem north. And so the gem north define uh, the arrangement and alignment of the cutter. So in Matrix, uh, in metrics uh, gold we cannot control that I couldn't I, I couldn't find any command to control the them uh, the gem north but in metrics 9 we could control the gem north but here I couldn't find anything I, I I think in a future they will add this function to that but here we can select line by line and I want to do macro macro prong cutter library, not macro prong cutter. So macro prong cutter library, and then they bring me something like that. And I go to my cutter library. You can see I have two objects, preset cutter number two. If I double click on that, I have these. Okay. So as you can see, all in the same uh, direction. So I want to make it bigger, so it's better to use two by two. Oh, 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 
it's too big, sorry, 1.1.3 1 to 1.3, okay, it must be good, and then I need to rotate them to something like that. The position is fine, it's good, it's down and off, even I can, if we want, we can go more down, if we don't want, we don't need to go, okay. Very good. And then I can do Boolean. One, oh, and then we have it. Okay. Let's do for second row Microprom Cartel Library again. So, as you can see, these two, it has a problem. Okay. So, if I want to have uh, to fix them, so it's better to uh, rotate 90 degree and also rotate this one 90 degree let's see what was that i don't need this one micro prong cancer library oh no we have to let me do it again so it needs to be somewhere like this okay and then it needs to be somewhere like this let's see how does it work now? Micro prong cutter library. Yeah, now it's fixed. You can see. So we go here, we go to pre cutter this one. So I can remember we use 1.3. Yeah, 1.3, 1.3. Okay, and then I have to use this again approximately. Is that one okay? A little bit maybe. A little bit tolerance they have because they are not in line so let me do that okay now it's fine so a little bit like this because of the rotation of these stones but that's fine that would be fine I can fix this later no problem for example I can ungroup it and then because and then with control i can rotate it just change my alignment and then i go a little bit like that okay okay that's fine and then boolean these by this okay so that's fine Okay, so you can see I have this problem here, but because of, because of my gem, you know, when I rotate it, uh, I rotate wrongly, but that's fine. This is my fault. It's not uh, the big issue. Okay, so you can see we have something like this. It's okay, acceptable. And then when we do something like that, let me rotate again to come back to its place. No, I rotate in this way okay so yeah now it's fine i rotate in this way now it's fine okay so yeah we can do the same here so we do the same so again i can say macro prong cutter library so you can see now three stone we had a problem so we have to rotate it actually so have you or no no need you have to make this tree and then you can do uh, the other one and then we can fix it so for example let me check if i can do something like that and then if i want to rotate it in its let me change it to object so it's better so i want to say like that okay and also this one so object so i want to say like that and then this one so i want to say like that yes and then you select again you go to macro prong cutter library so in the same i change to this one again 1.3 uh, 1.3 and 1.3 and then 
we go here yeah, so it's really good okay this one we have to rotate a little bit to fix this issue okay and then for the last one we can solve the problem okay so that's fine that's fine even this one is fine and then we can ungroup it and then I can go to this I think that's aligned and a little bit rotate okay that would be fine here also let's do control a little bit like that and a little bit like this to have it in the center and a little bit of scale so again boolean these by these cutters okay tolerance must be double some somewhere it's a small issue we have to fix it but no problem now it's fine it's okay and let's see okay good so now let's just finish it up so just see what happened when we do gem cutter okay I want to make it the girdle something like this just a little bit smaller that's it oops oh <laughs> I forgot to offset before I do that <laughs> okay no problem because uh, absolutely this is uh, uh, the the direction of the surface is uh, the direction of the surface it was outward so it's considered as a surface so that's fine but if you, if you want to do that I just because I don't want to have any problem after uh, uh, cutting so control shift scale just a little bit and then I go down and then so I don't care about the size so hide it exploit it i delete this one and then on trim okay and then show and that would be fine maybe i can make it a little bit smaller okay just a little bit sorry for that guys and then duplicate border dupe border and then waft between them okay no problem a little bit this is not what I want but that's fine okay so now it's fine boolean this by this now it's let's see the bottom huh? you can see it's ready to set just be careful about the spacing because uh, when the stone goes down the spacing uh, becomes smaller so when you are doing the pave try to make uh, try to put in good numbers okay try to keep okay and in this way we have amazing uh, presets ready to print ready to uh, cutting and uh, for the the sensor man thank you so much guys have a great day